you know, if I had gone down the path of, you know, just playing golf um, and, and not have this happen to me, I, I might be really unhappy right now. If you met me six years ago, I really wasn't a very fun person to be around. Um, you know, I, I ate, slept and breathed golf. Um, and that came at the expense of the cost of my social life, you know, how I was around my family and friends. Yeah, I was just a very hard person to be around. Yeah, so I've always been a, a really active kid since I was young. I played a lot of sports growing up. Um, and then I picked up golf when I was primary six, just in time for my PSLE. <laughs> Yeah, but I just love the game. Like, I think, you know, ever since I picked it up, golf is an incredibly frustrating game. And I think that that pursuit of trying to perfect it is, you know, is what's keeping me playing till today. And in 2015, I had just been um, playing full-time for a couple of years. I had a really, really good summer. I, you know, won an event in the US and then I came home, I won two back-to-back -back events. And then I was just having a hit with my friends and after 12 holes, I couldn't feel my right arm. Yeah, I started swelling up and then I couldn't move it for 26 days. So to go from someone who's really active to not being able to even, you know, write with my right arm. Yeah, so for three years, you know, I was seeing different doctors, neurologists, pain specialists, um, and no one could really tell what was going on. Doctors told me that I'll never play golf again or, you know, use my arm, have normal function of my arm again. But then I, I found something or in me or I just felt like, why am I giving up? You know, even if I went nowhere with, you know, this pursuit of trying to fix my arm, like, I, I was still going to do it. Um, I, was, I wasn't going to give up, right? So I think, like, you know, in the past, I was winning and I was achieving all these milestones. I never really stopped and, you know, smelled the roses. Hey everyone, I just got to training after a day of school. I'm really excited to get going here. Um, this is a typical day for me, I just practice for a little bit and then I play nine holes. Really glad the weather is holding up today and excited to be training this beautiful place. See ya! Actually, you know, the time when I felt most alive was, you know, when I, you know, didn't have an arm, it was in a cast, couldn't really use it. Um, and I was climbing up a mountain in California and that's when I really felt like what it means to be human, right? And I felt just alive being there in the moment. I'm actually really, really grateful for, um, you know, the injury and everything that happened to me. I, you know, had I been successful as a professional golfer right from the outset, I think I might be really unhappy today. This relationship that I had with golf that perhaps was a bit unhealthy and today I just have a much more appreciative and a much better relationship with golf. And I think it's about learning to enjoy the journey of getting there and not focus on the outcomes. There's so much strength in women just being women. You know, there's no need to be masculine or you know, to try and be someone else that you're not. And I think you know, throughout this entire journey, you know, I, I found strength that I never knew I had and that's an incredible feeling. It's really about you know, harnessing my own strengths, playing my own game and just focusing on myself and what I have to bring that day. And I think that's really all that matters. Alright, we'll just adjust the camera, make sure it's pointing straight. Okay, I think we caught it. So I'm really excited to show you um, some of the exercises that I used to do for my shoulder rehab. We'll do two different sets of exercises today um, and about 45 seconds for each one. So first one we're going to start with band pull apart. If you don't have an exercise band, you can use a towel or something similar. Um, and you really want to just start by looking straight, pull the band apart. Pull the band apart. You want to feel like your shoulders are squeezing in together. Pull it over your head. And then if you want to, you can take it a notch up by doing an overhead squat. So it's a whole flow motion. Just to give you another view, you want to make sure that the band doesn't go past your head. It's kind of in line with the, your knees as you go up and down. So you want to try and squeeze your shoulder blades all the way through, keep the band nice and behind. Do a few more reps, pull it apart. 
bring it over your head and go all the way down. So it's really a full body exercise, um, but you want to feel like your shoulder stays strong the whole time when you're going down. Do a couple more reps. Part, up, and all the way down. All right, well done on the first exercise. So the next one, we're going to do a push-up into a side plank. Um, and we'll good, go into a push-up position first. Do a push-up, and then go straight into a side plank. And I'll move around to give you a better view. So when you do your push-ups, you want to feel like your shoulders are over your wrists. And you go all the way down, keeping your core tight. Ab squeeze. And make sure to do both sides. Keep it even. Try and keep your lats tight all the way through. And we do one last rep. And up. Yeah, thank you so much for joining me today and doing my exercises. Hope you really enjoyed it. Um, and remember to always be grateful for what your bodies can do. See you later. Thank you.